Hello everyone, Guten Tag and welcome to day five of the Euros. This is the pre worst taste test. Big things are coming, so stay tuned. When this actually comes out, I don't know because it's currently Wednesday and we're now in Frankfurt. But yesterday I didn't like record anything because all we did was travel. We went from Dusseldorf to Frankfurt, a three hour coach, which was so long. I was there sleeping away. And then we came to the Frankfurt Hotel, which is actually really nice compared to the other hotels. Went for some food, watched the Portugal and Turkey game, which were both sick, by the way, and then just went to bed. So I didn't really want to put a vlog out about that because it was just, I don't know, a bit boring. But today we're actually doing stuff. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm posting today. But yesterday was sort of my rest day, I guess. Not really a rest day because I could have done it, but it just wouldn't have been entertaining. So the plan for today is to first go to a place called The Best Walks in town. I'll put it here because I can't pronounce it. But they sell a German food called curry Wurst, which is like, I, actually to be honest, I don't know what it is, but everyone's told me to go and get it. So we're gonna go there, give it like a taste test, try out some German food because just at Mackey's and all that so far. Um, and then go to the fan zones and watch games. The games I don't actually know are playing, but I know Scotland are playing tonight, so we'll see that. I've just looked in Germany, are also playing Hungary today, so the fan zones will be hopefully very good. Um, so yeah, let's start the day. Finally, it's about 3 p.m. right now, which is so late, but um, I'll catch you at the best watch in town. Len's just stepped in a huge puddle and his socks are absolutely drenched. So he's had to go back to the hotel and change. Honestly, we have no luck. I've just searched up what a curry wurz is. And to be fair, it just looks like sausage and chips, but like, it does look like a nice sausage and chips. So I ain't complaining. We're on our way now. Whoa, watch out, watch out, watch out for the puddle then. Watch out for the puddle. To get to this curry wurz place, we've got to cross this huge bridge which I don't even see any people on, so I'm not sure if we're meant to, but it's so much quicker, so we're going to do it. To be fair, there's a spiral staircase going all the way up, so surely you'll be allowed to walk on it. I don't know if you can hear me because of how loud and windy it is, but it's got a nice view, this bridge. Loads of cars going past. Ambulance there. But yeah, decent. We have arrived at the best watch in town, so let's... Give it a taste test to see if it really is the best orange in town. When I came, I <laughs> did not think it would be this small. So here it is, you get yourself a curry wurz maybe, I think that's like the sausage part. I got onions, spicy sauce and like a sausage, pork sausage. You then get a bit of bread and some chips and a Diet Coke. So let's give this a taste test. This is the curry wurz taste test review from the best watched in town. That's nice, that's nice. Right, so we've just left the best watch in town trying their curry verts, like a German food. And this is my review. Firstly, the boss, incredible. 10 out of 10 for boss, because he was actually quite sound. The food, the actual curry works was really nice. The bread was, <sighs> bread, like, I think it's mainly German bread, I don't really know. Chips, banging. Seven out of ten. Bread, I'd go five out of ten. But curry worts, a good nine, solid nine. And that gives the best watch in town and the curry worts a seven out of ten rating, which is a, a decent score. We're now on the train towards Frankfurt Main to go and watch the Germany game at the box park sort of like thing. Because I assume the atmosphere there is gonna be pretty decent. We've arrived in the Frankfurt Central. The German game still got about two and a half hours till it kicks off. So we'll go and watch the Albania versus Croatia game. I think Albania won it up. We were just saying this, I ain't being funny. Frankfurt is literally like a zombie town. Everyone just smells a bud. Or is a crackhead, just like off their head. Like, I did not expect this from Frankfurt. I thought it was gonna be like bare nice. I thought it was gonna be nicer than Dusseldorf, but it definitely ain't. And then a five minute walk later, and it looks like the most modern place we've seen so far. It's just baffling. There's loads of baffling. Honestly. What is this place?
incredible. Right, we've left the uh, Irish bar, got a Corona in my hand, we're off to a steakhouse to spend £100 billion on some sirloin steak, medium rare Wagyu steak. We're still walking to the steakhouse, I'm absolutely gagging for a piss, it's absolutely awful, I could piss myself at a moment's notice, but we're two minutes away, so all is good. we finally arrived at Blockhouse, there it is. I can go for my piss finally and get some nice steak. And the food has arrived, I've got chips and me and Harry got a T-bone, chips there, some bread and Len got a ribeye. Incredible. A few moments later. We've absolutely cleaned up. Clean plate, clean plate, clean plate, clean plate, clean plate. We're even thinking about getting dessert. And the dessert has arrived. I've got chocolate lava cake. Harry's got a waffle. Len's got a waffle. Decent. I am so full right now, but who gives a f I know I said I was full up, but I kid you not, 90 seconds later, and it's been absolutely hoovered up by Henry. I've absolutely smashed that. <laughs> Len's still eating, Harry's still eating. And I've finished. Right, we've just left the restaurant. I had one or two drinks. Everyone else had one or two drinks. Steakhouse. 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 We're going to watch the second half of the Scotland game versus Scotland's t opponents. And then, um, well, we'll see, what happens, happens, we'll see what happens on the night. So <laughs> I've just been told information that Scotland are one nil, one nil up against their opponents. So that's, that's Scott, McTominay. Scott McTominay scored. That's big news. Um, we're going to go and watch the game now in uh, Dusseldorf Centre, Frankfurt Centre, and just and go to a vending machine first and get some Diet Cokes, and then um, <laughs> have a good night, innit? Yeah, we'll see how, how it all goes. Right, we've got the goods. We're um, heading off to the Irish bar now, finishing the night with a few more drinks, and then going back and uh, having a good time. We're now in the pub again, watching the Scotland uh, Switzerland game. It's currently 1-1. I've got a beer. Who's you reckon will win here? 15th minute in, 1-1 one, one, Scotland, Switzerland. I hope Switzerland win, to be honest. Right, we're outside the Irish bar. Beer in hands. Scotland game versus Switzerland's going on over there. We can't really be asked to watch it because we're just bare. Boring and a bit like drunk, so it don't really help. We want to go back to the hotel at this point, have a uh, have a nice end to the night, and then call it there. I apologise if this has been like a bit rubbish content. I just we didn't do much today. We just kind of had a good night out and a lot of drinks, and we finished the night very well. But yeah, I apologise if I can't get everything. Tomorrow will be a good day because obviously England are playing, so do not stress. Actually, I think this vlog's going to come out Thursday morning and then the England vlogs will come out Thursday night so you can have two vlogs in one day with the second vlog being an England vlog so you can't complain can you? Switzerland have made it 2-1 it was offside no it's offside Ebola made it 2-1 but I think it's offside so far I can see on that TV over there I'm pretty sure that looks offside to me but I'm looking for about 20 metres away but yeah I think it's offside as it this Coach goes Birmingham, might have to get on it, you know, go over and map it on. I'm Philadelphia. Bro! This coach goes Philadelphia, Dubai, Prague, Cairo, all these nice cities, and then Birmingham. <laughs> Class. Look how nice the station looks. Yeah, yeah, the, blue as, yeah, the blue lights in as we leave the, uh, the main station to go back to the hotel. Right, and this is where the vlog ends. We're walking home now. We've just left the train station. We're back at our place. Off to the hotel, might get some Mackies or something like that, because I'm bare hungry. Um, yeah, this is where the, the vlog unfortunately ends. This will be uploaded Thursday morning, but trust me, Thursday night the England vlog will be out, so make sure to watch that one, because hopefully England beat Denmark and it'll be an amazing vlog. As always, this trip is sponsored by Vipay. And I don't want to keep on saying big things are coming, but they are, especially for England, Denmark tomorrow. Big things are coming, so stay tuned, watch the vlog, Click the link in the description, sign up for Vipay and love. I will see you tomorrow. Have an amazing day. I thought the vlog would end there, <laughs> but me and Len are now in Mackey's getting ourselves better scrum. Oh my God. What sauce you want? Um, I'll have curry sauce, curry sauce. Right, we just ordered an incredible Mackey's. I've got myself a burger, a chicken legend, chips, Diet Coke and 
a curry sauce or something just incredible can't absolutely wait to talk into this one i said absolutely because i can't swear anymore I've stopped swearing on this channel by the way um but yeah i'm gonna take it back to the hotel me and lenart and then um eat it go to bed and wake up for england to win the bloody everything tomorrow i've got a mcflurry here what flavor is it twix, twix mcflurry dark coke Len spilled some drink there and about 100 meals in there, so <laughs> good night everyone. I've got a good night ahead of me. <laughs>